Hello, Jen here, and I have my layout for the the cool kid just showed up uh, YouTube hop happening today. This is uh, Sarah from Sarah Scraps brainchild. She puts on a back to school hop every year. There's always a different theme every year. So we get to mix it up and kind of explore the different facets of back to school. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite hops that I always look forward to every year. And um, there's tons and tons of people participating. So go and check out the links down below. Be sure to check every video, share the love, comment, subscribe to anyone you haven't subscribed to. And if you have found me through the hop, uh, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, let me tell you about this layout. It was an adventure to, to be certain. This is definitely a layout that I am going to be putting in my not quite sure about yet pile. Um, and you guys know that that often happens and I need to take a little bit of time to learn to appreciate the layout. Um, but I always like to show them even if at the end of the day, I end up really not liking them as much as I should. Um, I do like to show that side of scrapbooking because I think we can be really hard on ourselves and, um, we often kind of strive for this level of perfection that that isn't always realistic every single time we create. Sometimes it, it's just about the process and the things that you learn when you're putting the pieces together and not so much about the outcome. And that's totally okay. I'm not someone who goes back and re-scraps anything or tears layouts apart. Sorry, I don't want to give you... Um, false information. Occasionally I tear things off of a layout or I might switch things around, but I don't often completely take a layout apart and rework it or anything like that. I kind of, I appreciate the fact that you kind of, you have to learn. I, I promise I'm going to stop saying kind of, <laughs> um, but you do have to learn your craft and you do have to kind of hone your skills a little bit. And so that's what, what this layout is. It's a bit of a learning curve for me. I'm using a different size than I normally do. Uh, all of my 2022 layouts are going to be in eight and a half by 11 instead of 12 by 12. It's a very kind of weird size for me. It totally threw me off. I didn't love it, but I will learn to love it and I will create that album and I will appreciate the fact that um, I have something unique in amongst all my other albums, even if I never do another year with this size. But who knows, maybe by the end of the, the album, I will think that this is my favorite size ever and I will want to continue. I don't know. This is the very first layout I'm doing for 2022. I'm not totally sold yet, um, but we'll get there. So I definitely like to show all of my layouts, even if they're not my favorites. Um, but let me explain what I'm doing. So I took my cardstock, I cut it down to the right size, and I wanted to do something in the background. The um, scrap timber prompt for today is six by six paper pads. So I definitely wanted to try to feature paper pads and not use any kind of pattern in the background. So I grabbed my oxide inks. I've been using them lately, so I thought um, might as well go ahead and create a background with them. And I just swiped them right across the page. And the paper that I'm using is from Walmart. It's not the thickest paper. It um, has a nice kind of subtle texture to it. But if you flip it over, the other side's actually pretty kind of flat and, and plain. So I had it on the textured side and when you swipe those oxide in inks across, it picks up some of that texture. So I really like the patterns it gives. I like that look of the swipe, but then I also really like the way that the oxide inks interact with water. So I just sprayed them on both 
uh, both sides and let them drip a little bit. And it just, it moves some of the color around. It pools some of the color. So you have, you know, spots where the color's washed away a little bit and other spots where it's really intensified. So I, I just like playing with that kind of stuff when I'm creating my backgrounds. So I went ahead and did that, kind of let it dry a little bit. Then I took some paper um, from six by, uh, six by six paper pad. I had thought I was going in a different direction, but then I remembered that the um, theme for this hop is the cool kid just arrived. And so I went for this Amy Tangerine 6x6 paper pad because I felt like it had colors and images and just a feel to it that was a little bit more attuned to um, being cool, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, and so yeah, I think it kind of suits, it suits my daughter and it suits the, the age of the, the pictures. Um, and so I went with these kind of fun colors, a little bit rainbowy and, um, there's little paper clips on one of the pink pieces of paper and then pens and pencils on the other. So it kind of has those back to school images on it. Uh, and I just cut those into strips and, scattered them across the page. Before we go any further, let me apologize again about my voice. I am still not uh, back up to 100%, still feeling a little bit crummy. Strep throat has gone through our house, sinus infections, allergies. I have a feeling I'm going to end up with bronchitis. Uh, so yeah, just not feeling the best. You can definitely hear it in my voice. I apologize for that. Okay, so once those strips were down, I did cut two pieces of paper that are different patterns from the pens and the, the little paper clips and also a bit different colors from the kind of rainbow paper. Um, I guess the blue matches pretty well, but it, at least it looks like it here, but the blue of the big large square that I cut or rectangle that I cut is a little bit more royal blue than navy blue. The camera is just not really showing that. But I cut those two pieces to sort of be the mats for my photos. I don't have my photos. I think that's another reason that this whole layout kind of threw me off and I'm not sure if I like it. I ordered my photos and I, I thought they were going to be here by the time I created the layout and they're still not here. And I also realized that I ran out of photo paper for my selfie ordered that and it's also not here. So no pictures. Um, if they come before I have to take the still shots for this, then you will see them in the still shots. If not, I will post them on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Keep a lookout. Um, go and follow me on Instagram and soon, very soon, as soon as they come in, I will post a picture of what the overall finished product looks like with pictures on it. Um, but for now, that kind of mint green paper and that blue paper represent where my photos are going to go. They'll be four by three photos. And they're Kaylin um, basically driving herself to her first day of school since COVID. Um, she stayed home. And so she did... Uh, online school. She she loved it. She did really well with it. But Kaylin is dyslexic and she has dyscalculia. And so she kind of thought that for grade 11 math um, and, you know, kind of getting up there in some of the higher grades, that being in person to learn math would be easier for her. So finally, in her second semester of grade 11, having never gone to high school before, the cool kid decided to show up to school. So that's why I thought this was the perfect hop and the perfect kind of story to tell um, because she finally she finally showed up to school. And I think my kid's pretty cool. So um, the title works well. I'm actually going to use the title of the hop as the title for my for my whole layout. Uh, but yes, no photos yet. And it's just two pictures of her in the driver's seat of, of the car driving herself to her first day of school, her first day of high school. Um, and then, so once I got those down, I basically just went through a lot of my little embellishments and stickers and things that I have in my how to kill a kit with style kit. You see here, I keep kind of 
um, rifling through it. So these stickers, for example, are Crepe Paper All Heart. I used a few different things from Heidi Swap, some of her uh, recent collection from this past summer, the little words and phrases that she had. Um, not all of them worked, but some of them did. Uh, there was one that said like rise and shine, for example. And so I used that with the little alarm clock from the all heart collection. Um, I used a couple little banners and that love and one of the little tabs says, remember this. And so I just kind of scattered the embellishments throughout the whole layout. And I really, the whole time I was doing this, I, I could see that this layout was super full and there is so much going on. And so part of me was just sort of plonking things down because I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what direction I needed to go in to kind of fix it and make it look better for me. So I was just throwing things on there. I also added some puffy stickers from Pinkfresh Studio. And then here, these are the little puffy alphas from Pinkfresh Studio. Um, I just kind of went through and looked for which colors had all the letters for different words so that I didn't mix up all of the colors throughout the, the whole sentence. Each word is one color. And then here you can see, I kind of put my hand down and then picked my hand up and my layout has changed a little bit. I pulled off a few of the strips of paper, specifically the um, <laughs> school strips. So the pens and pencil strips and the little paper clip strips. I felt like that was just too busy. It was distracting and I, it was making it really hard for me to focus on anything else. So I pulled those off. Now you actually get to see a little bit more of the mixed media that I did. And I kind of left the embellishment clusters. I did tinker with them a little bit and moved their positions, but I left all of the elements that, that I had chosen. And I definitely like this a lot better. And I think once I have my photos in there, I am going to love the layout. So my final little touch here is just to add some sequins, um, just, you know, a different bit of texture and a little bit of, of shimmer. And I did add some thread to that top little tag that I have. And then the tag that I created my little kind of hidden journaling pocket for. And that is my layout for this hop. I'm curious to know if there's anything that you would change or add, take away. Um, so let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you follow all the links down below for everyone else playing along today. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me. Bye button, turn my channel.